Artificial love, we just make it up Cause reality will never be good enough And even if it was, we just mess it up Cause we already love Addicted to the right Instagram carousels are a perfect way for you to showcase your finished projects with your online audience. I post most of my completed work, most of my finished logo designs as carousels. And today I want to show you how I create my carousels and make them look smooth and seamless as you slide through. So to begin, we'll create a new document, clicking Ctrl on Command N. So I'm going to select this document I already have here. It's a custom document with 10 inches by 10 inches. That's normally what I use for all my carousels. So I'll go to the Outboards panel and I'll add another Outboard. After adding this Outboard, we'll go back to the Outboard panel and select Rearrange All Outboards. So now we are going to make the space in between the outboards to be zero, completely zero. So we have no space at all. So now that there is no space in between the carousel, in, in between the outboards, I'm just going to add the exact number of outboards I need. So let's say, let's work with six. Um, I'm just going to make it up to six. Okay, so the key for this carousel pattern is to make it look like one long design so that when someone is scrolling through it it just flows so i'm going to use um this logo that i already created for the roaster cafe and we will create a carousel based on that all right so let's start by adding the logo um normally for me i love having my first the first page of everything I, I post on my Instagram to be a certain color to be black and white so I'm just going to change the color but we will still find a way to make it flow so the next thing I want to add is this pattern here the pattern I created for the brand so we will just drag this in yes it's it won't be here but we'll just add it okay so I want to take out this icon of the coffee beans icon of the coffee beans and uh, we'll play around with it let's just add this pattern somewhere here i want to make the the background dark the features will come out better all right so this is good okay. to make this flow very well we are going to use this icons of the coffee beans and put it just at this demarcation here okay so that it's it just works exactly the way we want it i will now add some more coffee beans around i mentioned that i don't want item any any object on my face page to have any color so i'm just going to take out this two and we'll duplicate it and turn it to black so i'll i'll send it to the back right under here so we're going to just mask we're going to create a mask just on all right so now we have that mask i would love to stretch out this pattern a bit more I will duplicate this middle part. All right, the next thing I want to add is mock-ups. I already have some mock-ups and 
I used Photoshop to cut them out so that they don't have any background. And I'm going to just import them as PNG files here. Okay, so the first one has to be this coffee bag here. Now the key thing to note whenever you're creating a carousel like this is to use items directly on this demarcation so that when someone scrolls, they find it hard to know exactly where the cut was made. So I usually like to use patterns or use more crops to create this transition in between two items and it just works every time. Okay, so the next thing we are going to add is I have this picture of a coffee beans so i'm just going to add it to the background just with the coffee bag on top now that we have this it can flow seamlessly and we just have to add another mock-up say this cup of coffee just have it right there at the edge i think i want to add a background to the last page and on the last page you can add another more cup all right so with this you have a very seamless transition of your logo presentation this is a very good way to share your files your already designed projects on instagram so that you know it doesn't look boring we'll go to file exports and select export for screens so now we can export the individual outputs i'm just going to rename them quickly So you can select the file formats, um, I'll just go, to go with JPEG 100 and leave it on the same scale, on one neck scale. You can increase the scale if you want it to be bigger, but okay, you know, let's just make it two times the size so it's bigger and now click on export output and there we have it. Can I say it?